What's up guys? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the CDI box on your GUI 6 engine. We're gonna talk about what it is and what it does. Talk about the difference between an AC and a DC CDI, how to figure out which type you have on your machine, and of course, how to wire it and troubleshoot it. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is a CDI? Well, CDI stands for Capacitor Discharge Ignition. And all that is, is it's just an electronic device that literally stores an electronic charge and then it discharges it through your ignition coil in order to create a powerful spark in your spark plug. The capacitor, which is your CDI, all it does is charge and discharge very quickly within a fraction of time, which makes it possible to create spark in your spark plug. Next, let's talk about how to find out which type of CDI box you have either an AC CDI box or a DC CDI box. The six pin AC CDI box is far more common than its DC version counterpart in small engine applications. The main difference being that the AC CDI box gets its power from the stator in the form of alternating current, whereas the DC CDI box is powered by the battery in the form of direct current. The easiest way to tell what type you have on your machine is by simply taking a look at it. The DC CDI box is noticeably larger than the AC version. Also, if your vehicle has a kick or a pull start, it is very likely that this will have an AC CDI box since it doesn't have the battery to give power. Next, let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about how to wire your CDI box. We'll go ahead and start with the AC CDI first, since it is more likely this is the one you have on your machine. There are six pins on your CDI, and we're gonna go ahead and number them like so. The number one pin is your timing trigger wire. The timing trigger, sometimes called the pulse generator, is responsible for sending an initial signal current to the CDI box to tell it that a spark is needed. The current will then flow to the ignition coil and spark plug. This wire is generally blue or blue-white and will connect to the stator. The number two pin is for the ignition coil wire. The ignition coil releases the charge from the timing trigger and connects to the spark plug. This wire is generally yellow or yellow-black and connects to a smaller connect on your ignition coil. The number three pin is one of two grounds on the AC CDI box. This ground will go to the larger connect on your ignition coil, right next to the ignition coil wire from pin two. The number four pin is the second or alternate ground wire. The location for this wire will depend on your vehicle setup. It may go to the frame, the stator, or may not be used at all. Both of these ground wires are generally green colored. The number five pin is the kill switch wire. This wire is generally black or black white in color, and a green ground wire will also connect to the kill switch from the wiring harness. The number six pin is for the AC ignition power wire. This wire provides the power for the CDI box to function. And since this is an AC CDI box, this power is coming from the stator. This wire is generally red or red black in color, and of course will connect to the stator. Now, when we are talking about the six pin DC CDI box, there's only a couple differences compared to the AC version when it comes to how this one is wired. First, we should remember that the DC CDI is powered by a battery. That's why it's DC, direct current. This CDI comes with a DC AC inverter circuit to raise the voltage from 12 volts to anywhere between 400 and 600 volts. Now, if we look at this diagram, we can see that there are only two key differences in how this is wired. The first one is that the number five pin and one of the grounds are now connected to the ignition key switch. On a DC CDI box, this is where the main power will come from. 
The second key difference is the number six pin. This is the DC ignition power wire. This wire usually hangs free and is not connected to the stator on vehicles that have a DC power system. Beyond these two key wire differences, everything else will connect the same as the six pin AC CDI box. All right guys, time to wrap this video up. So in conclusion, replacing the CDI box can be a little scary if you don't know what it even does or where all those pesky wires go. But hopefully, after you have identified what kind of CDI you have, AC or DC, you can use this guide to help you through the troubleshooting process. Now, if you have any questions related to CDI or small engine or GY6 wiring, feel free to drop a comment or reach out to me. And of course, thanks for watching the video, especially if you stuck around all the way to the end.